I wonder what this does. Ooh. Try me. Let's try it. <gasps> wow. This is a really, really good shop it has. I grabbed the small top and it will literally, I will wet. Beautiful people and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lizzie Fitzpatrick for those who haven't joined me before. And if you haven't joined me before, what have you been doing with your life? No, I'm messing, I'm messing. But if you haven't joined me before and you do like me, please hit the subscribe button because once I reach 1K subscribers, I'm doing a massive giveaway. And for all those who have joined me before, thank you so, so much for coming back to me. Like, oh, it just means the world. Okay, so today I'm gonna throw at you, so another Primark video, but this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's about hacks on how to shop in Primark. So if you wanna watch this video, then just keep on watching. So basically with this video, I'm gonna give you three top tips on how to shop in Primark, and I'm gonna show you little clips of me shopping in Primark and using the tips for you. So I just feel like this is gonna be like a really fun, good video. So, First of all, my first top tip is list. Yeah, with the list, I just literally wrote things that I do need. So like bikini, spring tops, um, pastel colours, that's what I wanted, bottoms, fairy lights. Let's just do it the old ways. Like, let's go back in time. Well, it's not really going back in time, but you know what I mean. Like, we've all got a pen and paper. You know, I'm guessing we've all got a phone. Like, list. Just list it out. Like... I feel like with a list, you can go back to the list and check that you've got everything in your bag that you wanted on the list. I feel like with a list as well, you're not going to put something in your bag. Well, I say that, but this is me we're talking about. But you're not going to put something in your bag that's not on the list that you don't really need. I feel like with a list, you've got a list of all the items that you need. And then once you go shopping, like, you know... You can go and get the list. And another top tip for my list, once I have got everything, what I do is I delete stuff off the list so I know by the end of the day, if everything that I've got off the list, then like I'm a happy person. So example, like if I got the bikinis, I would literally just go in my phone and just delete it. I feel like with a list, you've got the list there to like a guidance and what you're supposed to get. So I just feel like with a list is really, really handy. To be fair on you, sometimes when I write lists, like I don't get everything off the list and that will do my head in like, if I don't get everything off the list, I'm like, oh my God, like, oh, I need to go shopping again. So yeah, I feel like with a list, it's really, really handy and it really does work for me. So maybe try the list because it might work for you. Okay, my second top tip is to go to a small Primark, right? And the reason why I say this is because a big mass of Primark, um, the closest big mass of Primark to me is Liverpool, and I know that's got like five floors. It just overwhelms me, and if anybody's like me, I get quite a lot of anxiety when I go into a big mass of Primark. I feel like clothes are thrown everywhere. I literally feel like you're going into a jumble store. Like, I'm like, ah! I do love the big Primarks, don't get me wrong. They've got so much more of a variety in the big Primarks. But I just feel like for me, for my anxiety levels, it's best off to go to a little Primark. And then if the little Primark don't have to do it, I have to trek all the way to the big Primark. But hopefully, I feel like with the little Primarks as well, and then a little Primark by me, it has two floors. And I feel like for the two floors, it does have quite a lot of stuff in. I know the sections are very small, but it just has like what you need. Like, I feel like with the big Primarks when you go in there, I'll be like, oh, I need to get a bikini, and I'll come out with 10 bikinis. It's like, did I need to get by that many bikinis? Like, no. So I feel like with the little Primark, they'll just have, like, a little selection of bikinis that I do like, and I'm like, oh, I like that bikini. So I will come out with just one bikini. So I feel like that's a money-saving trick to go to a little Primark than a big Primark because... I just feel like you're gonna save a lot more money if you went to the little Primark just because it hasn't got the bigger variety as the big Primark. I know it makes no sense me saying that. I know most people will be like, go to a big Primark, it's got more stuff in it, but you will spend about three hours in there. I mean, I do still spend about two hours in the little Primark, don't get me wrong, because I just dilly dally. I'm like, oh my God, I like that, oh my God, I like that. And I do just dilly dally, but I feel like if you're in a rush, little Primarks are so much better. It's like, it's like, Tesco's and little Tesco's, do you know what I mean? Like, if you're in a rush, go to little Tesco's because it's still got the same things in, just like a little variety. So, yeah, that would be my top tip on rushing and saving money just to go to a little Primark and anxiety tip, like, definitely. Now, this is my third top tip, but not my top tip. 
if you get what I mean, like I'll explain now. So if you don't know what you want in Primark or like what clothes they've got, obviously they haven't got an online shop for you to look at. So if you went to Topshop, they've got an online shop that you can look at beforehand, before going into the shop and getting it, like an idea of what you want. But because they don't have an online shop, they do have an Instagram account. So Primark do have an Instagram account and they have like all sorry my my nails and they have like all outfit ideas on the instagram account so i mean for example like this cute pj set you can get all fabulous ideas from their instagram account i feel like the instagram account is the way to go if you don't have an idea of what you want in primark go on their instagram and there's some fabulous ideas on the instagram but i don't go on the instagram because i shop in primark quite a lot not gonna lie i do know what's in primark what i want so that's the reason why i don't do that third top tip for any shop in the whole entire world I'm literally gonna give my like most secret thing to do I'm sure other people do it I'm sure they do my mum taught me this but basically I'm gonna put a video in right now of how to do it actually it did buy with shorts and they're like little black shorts I'll show you them on my Primark haul which is gonna be my next video so yeah I haven't gone that crazy so far but the moral of the story is to not go that crazy but I thought I'd give you like a little shopping hack as well for you I don't know why I'm wearing this we're inside um, as well for you so if you example wanted right I know I'm showing you the men's section but if you example wanted this small top and as you can see it's only small in this oh no it's not there's two but that's just pretend there's one right okay should we start again okay so for example if you exact if you wanted this small top and as you can see it's the only small top left in here what I tend to do is I grab the small top and if you don't know if you like want it yet or you know if you want to come back for it what I do this is a really really good shopping hack I grab the small top and I will literally I will wedge it right in between so in this I'd normally wedge it at the back but for this one I would wedge it here Oh, this is so hard filming at the same time. So I wedge it right there in between. Now I know it's like a bright green top and obviously you can see it, but like I would wedge it so you couldn't really see it, so you actually could come back for it because not many people are really going to find that or you can do it behind. Like, I feel like that's a really good shopping hat that my mum taught me. Oh God, oh no, I'm stuck. Oh God. Whoops. Um, so yeah, that is a good shopping hack. So basically, I feel like once you go into a shop and you find something that you really, really do like, but you're like, oh, I don't know whether to get that or not, think about it. Don't buy it straight away unless you can take it back. Don't buy it straight away. My top tip would be to think about it. So how I think about stuff is I literally will have to walk out the shop. I'll have to either sleep on it, go back the next day, or walk out the shop, go in other shops, see if they've got the same thing that I wanted for a little bit cheaper. If they haven't, I would go back into that shop and get it. But imagine if you go back into that shop and the thing that you wanted is just gone. So imagine if you wanted, for example, like a small top and there's only one small top left on the rail. Don't feel pressured to go and get it straight away. Like, I'm always like that. I'm like, I'm like, oh my God, it's the only one left. I'll have to get it. And then if not, I'll just return it. But some places you can't return. I know in Primark you can return, but some places you can't. So my top tip would be to be naughty and do that. So basically, say if it was a top, for example, I'd get the top and I would push it to the back of the railing that the top is, isn't even on, like another railing. I know it's really, really annoying for the workers, but if I do get it, I come back for it. And even if I don't get it, I come back for it and just put it in the right place where it belonged because I just feel like that is a really good top tip and now that I've given it out I bet people like use it now and do you know what I mean it's just ruined my top tip it's just, it was like my biggest secret for shopping but I've just given it out because I feel like I just give out all my secrets on here don't I and I feel like if it's going to help you it's going to help you but yeah Please let me know in the comments below if you do that because that is what I do and I'll like, I'll literally come back for it and be like, yes! So yeah, I'm going to show you now me shopping in Primark and how I use them top tips. So right, my little tips is I'm going to start downstairs first and then go to upstairs. So the downstairs in my Primark is, or in my Primark, is all the clothes. So I'm going to start downstairs first, do the clothing first, get all that ticked off and then go to the makeup and then go upstairs. What I've noticed as well with Primark, they've actually got lots of spring clothing, but they've also got the summer clothing. So they've got the summer clothing out as well as the spring clothing. So on my list, it was bikinis and spring clothing. So 
that's what I'm gonna see. So I'm gonna see what bikinis I want first. Now I don't like that bikini. I feel like these bikinis go really, really well on me, like bandeaus, because I don't have any boobs and I feel like these kind of don't because I feel like you need boobs for these bikinis. Oh, bikini shopping is so hard, isn't it? Legit, this bikini looks like a sports bra. I actually thought it was a sports bra at first, but it's nice. The bikini is dead cute though, isn't it? But it does look like a sports bra. But I'm really attracted to this bikini. I really love it. I know it's a triangle bikini. It doesn't really go well on my boobs, but I really, really am attracted to it. Oh, I just don't know. I just really don't know. I don't know if it's going to look good with a tan. Like, I just don't know. I don't normally go for them colours. I normally go for, like, these colours over here. So I normally go for really, really bold colours. Because I feel like with bold colours, it looks really good with a tan. I mean, like, I know I don't really tan very well. But with my fake tan, that would be brilliant. I feel like the first thing I should have done was picked up a basket. So, oh! Let's pick it up because I'm sure I'm gonna need this today. So I actually love this jacket. I just think it's so nice and it's such good material. I mean, it is £25. It's a little bit expensive, but I really do love it. But I just don't think it'll suit me, like, at all. Like, at all. Like, this is what it looks on the mannequin, like. I feel like it suits that mannequin. Okay, so no, I've actually decided I'm not gonna get it because I've just looked at this. So if you see this little part here, this is really hard to film at the same time. But can you see? Like, it's just not secure properly, so it's just secured over this little string and like, no, I can't be dealing with that. I feel like for £25 you want something a little bit better quality. I know £25 isn't that good, like much money, but like, no, I feel like that's a no-go. I also feel like all these selections of trousers are like really, really nice. So they're like short cropped trousers. But I feel like these are only really, really nice if you're tall. Like I feel like on me that just wouldn't be a crop, it'd just be the whole trouser. So I feel like I really want these trousers right now, but I just feel like it's not going to be a crop. <laughs> so I feel like that's a no-go. Oh my god, I'm not having a good look, am I? Okay, right, so I absolutely love this jacket. It's like, oh my god, it's like, oh my god, I really love it, I really love it. I feel like, I feel like if I wear this jacket, I'll be like somebody from Pretty Woman. Like, I really do love it, but I just feel like, again, it probably wouldn't suit me, like, at all. Actually, do you know what it might do? How much is it? £15, so for £15 for this jacket, this is actually quite good. So let's see if it's got in my size. <gasps> yes, it has! I feel like I might try it on. I just feel like I'm buying it for no reason though. I've got loads of jackets, but I feel like it's just stylish. Yeah, I'm gonna try it on. God, so winner, winner, chicken dinner. I've just found this bralette in the redu reduction side, and it's only £3. And these little knickers for a pound oh my god so four pound for that set oh my god i just think they're so cute like how cute is that oh my god it's adorable i'm so happy about this <laughs> okay so like completely ignore what i've got on underneath this because i've obviously got my gym stuff on because i'm gonna go to the gym after this but like look how cute is this right i've got this in a size four so i think i'd go a size up because it is a little bit tight it's a little bit tight fitting but i just feel like this coat is so cute Oh my god, I just feel like it's adorable. That like, I really, really do like this coat. But do I feel like I would wear it? Mmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> probably not especially not with this outfit but it looks hilarious but i really do like this coat i think for 15 pounds it's really really cute i feel like i need to get it in size up because i can hardly move right now i used to be a size four obviously not anymore but that's good it's a good sign but like yeah i just feel like it's so cute it's so sophisticated but i just feel like i feel like i don't know i just feel like it's not really me i feel like i'm about to you know do a murder mis mystery or something <laughs> when Lizzie goes completely off track and finds my research very slippers. I have got so many slippers but I feel like Primark slippers are like literally so adorable. Like look at them red ones. They're so cute. But yeah, no. I'm going way too off track here. But like also I feel like, you know with shoes, like I'm a size 3 and hardly any places do size 3. You know, like you probably have to go searching for a size 3. Like it annoys me so much. So these nude shoes, like I actually do need some new heels because like all mine are nearly on the verge to break in but like they just don't have a size three and they only have a size three in the black ones and i mean i would love the black ones but i'd love them ones even more like oh, really annoys me 
So if you've watched my Primark video before, you would all know that Primark Home is like my new best friend. So last time I got these and I thought this was only 20 LED lights and I thought it was gonna be like loads for a backdrop. Oh no, Lizzie just went wrong. But I've just seen these 40 LED heart lights. Now, I just don't know if they're gonna be bright, but it's only two pounds. Do you know what I mean? I'm not really losing out on any, any money. So I'm gonna buy, should I buy maybe a few of them? Two. Oh, or should I just buy, no, right, should I just buy two? I don't know, I don't know. I really wish someone was here, but then I've just seen this. Cinema lighting box, wonder what this does, ooh. Try me, let's try it. <gasps> wow, that is so sick. That'd be so sick for like a back thing. Like for in the back, oh my God, that is so sick. <laughs> I'm so fascinated by this. <laughs> Oh my god, try me. Oh my god, I love all these try me's. These are so sick. Okay, that's not that one's not effective. That one's not as effective as this. This one's so sick. Whoa, so what do you do with them? Can you like get rid of them? Cinema lighting box. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it's for. Let's have a look. Let's have a read. So, what? <gasps> You can make your own letters. Oh my God, this is sick. This is where Lizzie just goes completely off track of what she was supposed to get. <laughs> like literally, I've not got any spring clothes, but to be fair, right, I've looked at all the clothes and I'm just thinking in my mind, holiday, 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 because I know I really want to go. Like traveling this year and I'm just thinking holiday, 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 and I can't think spring at the moment. So I'm just thinking holiday clothes and what I've seen, what I've already seen, I don't really like. So I'm not going to spend my money on something. Oh, oh my God, have you seen that? Oh my God, this is sick. Oh my God, what is that? That is sick and little, oh my god, I'm getting them all. Oh my god, I'm gonna redecorate the house, make it into like a Hindu house. All right, so I'm so glad I haven't bought that many clothes right now because I'm literally just gonna buy the whole of the home. <laughs> oh my god, I'm like so excited. <laughs> so bikinis, no, I've looked at all the bikinis. Don't really want any bikinis from here. Spring clothes, I'm too busy thinking about summer clothes, so that's a no. Top, I don't even know why I just wrote random top, but I don't know. Um. Right, there was no pastel colour skirt. I'm feeling like I want, oh, the In The Style one, you know, Sketch Sarah Ascroft's collection. So I feel like I just want that. And I felt like I was gonna go in Primark and try and find a cheaper version, but obviously I didn't. Tracky bottoms, um, <laughs> tracker bottoms, I mean to say tracky bottoms. Yeah, I found some in the men's section. These are actually the jeans, don't know why I'm showing you them, but I just feel like I can get more stylish online do you know what i mean because i'm traveling to glasgow soon so that's why i wanted like that just for travel so fairy lights i've got fairy lights i've got a new bra set i'm really happy with because i got it really cheap and lighting for youtube and backdrop so yeah i've got all my lighting and my backdrop okay in primark i've actually not gone that crazy and not bought any clothes actually oh <laughs> yeah that is how i shop in primark okay doll so that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please remember to give it a massive thumbs up and subscribe to my channel once i reach 1k i'm doing a huge giveaway and thank you so much for watching this video i will show you next time on my next video what i actually bought from primark because i did say that i was gonna go in there and just be like no let's get everything off the list but me being lizzie you know i bought some extra things so yeah i'll show you next time on my next Next video a big massive Primark haul was like a really really cute Primark haul so watch out for that video I will link it below and thank you so much for watching this video goodbye for now and I love you all loads